let's get started. Here is our first image of this new series. The image showed the expression, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. This means it is better to be happy with what you have than to risk losing that while trying to get more. For example, Sally wanted to quit her job and then try to find a new one, but I told her that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Another example, Jack and Mark won a lot of money at the casino and decided to quit playing. After all, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. On to our next image. The expression is, the early bird catches the worm. You use this when you want to advise someone to be the first to do or say something, because being the first gives an advantage. Let's look at two examples. First, the theatre was very busy, but I arrived early and got a very good seat. The early bird catches the worm. And our second example. We managed to get tickets for the concert because Alice got up early and called immediately. Clearly, the early bird catches the worm. I'll repeat that from now on. It is possible to upload your own kaboons, meaning you can upload a drawing with a kaboon corresponding to a certain expression. Together with your drawing, you have to give the expression and the meaning of that expression. Finally, you can indicate the language which uses this expression. Additionally, schools are invited to upload kaboons drawings. In this way, we will create the largest database of expressions in the world together. Sounds good. Yes, it is. Time for our third expression. Did you get this one? It is the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And it means that you can only know if something is good or bad if you try it first. Our first example sentence is, I really want to try out that tapas bar. I haven't seen any reviews yet, but the proof of the pudding is in the eating. The second example, he didn't think he'd like playing tennis, but the proof of the pudding was clearly in the eating, and now he enjoys it very much. And that's the end of this series, and we'll always end with a few important remarks. First, don't forget to subscribe to our English Expressions series. Second, please leave comments. Maybe you have other good examples, or perhaps you know the equivalent expressions in, for instance, French or Spanish or maybe Chinese. And we love to hear how you teach expressions. All comments are welcome. And please inform your colleagues about this new series with Kaboons and use the link below to see what our shop offers. And don't forget the new possibility for uploading your own Kaboons drawings. Kaboons are simple characters, and I'm sure that you or the children at school are able to make magnificent Kaboons. Furthermore, we enjoy drawings of expressions from every language. And finally, here's a new picture, and we will tell you what this expression means next time. Love you. See you next time. Thank you.